My name is Piper and this is Ezoic Academy. So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through creating placeholders and adding them to your site and then also optimizing the placeholder setup. So first I'm gonna walk you through creating a placeholder manually. You can either select Setup Add Testing in your dashboard or go to the Monetization tab. Once you get to the Monetization tab, go ahead and scroll down to the Add Tester portion of this page. Here you'll see that you have the ability to create new placeholders. Go ahead and click New Placeholder. So a placeholder is a potential ad location that you're going to add to your site and this allows Ezoic System to test thousands of different ad combinations to find the ones that work best for each user based on how they behave on the site. The first thing you want to do is tell the system where on the page this ad is located. So let's pretend we're putting this in the top of our sidebar. You can name it whatever you like. And then move on to the ad styles. You can skip over the advanced tab for now. In the ad styles, you can add padding to these if you'd like. So I'll go ahead and add 10 pixels to the top and bottom. And you can also choose to float it left or right, put it in its own row, and center it. Next, you're going to choose all the sizes that are included in this placeholder. The best practice is to add as many sizes as possible. So in the sidebar location, I'm going to include all of the box ad sizes, all of the button ad sizes, and mobile and vertical. When I'm selecting these, you'll see that it's adding a check mark to the ad size, and then next to that, it's showing the devices that it's allowed to show on. This means that you can create one placeholder for all three devices, and then choose the sizes that show on each device based on these check marks right here. Uh, the, uh, the, the system has already selected all of the sizes that are going to work best on each device. Once you've done that, go ahead and click Save. So now you can see we've created a new placeholder with the ID 109 called Sidebar Top. If you click this button right here, it will provide you the placeholder code, and then you can copy and paste this placeholder code into your website in the location of the placeholder you've just created. Now I'm going to show you how to create a placeholder using the Chrome extension. The Chrome extension is something you can download from the uh, Chrome store, and it's titled Ezoic Chrome Extension. Um, this allows you to view all the placeholders on a page and it also allows you to edit them and create new ones. So if you don't want to go through the process of manually creating them and adding them to your site, you can go ahead and use the Chrome extension to create. So go ahead and select Create. There's a few different options to choose the sizes of the ads you want to include, but I always recommend using Automatically Detect and it will provide all the sizes that fit in a given location. So once you click Create Placeholder and select Location, you can now see that I'm able to hover over different elements on the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of these under the page title. So if you click that element, it will show you a new placeholder and you can use these buttons to move it up or down a level or to the bottom of an element, which I'm going to do here. And once you click Insert, it's going to give you all the options to select the sizes, say where on the page it's located, style it, etc. So this one is under the page title, so I'm going to select that. Adaptive sizing means that the system can show smaller ad sizes in a bigger ad slot to maximize revenue, so I'm going to leave that on. I'm also going to turn it on for mobile to make the setup easy. Under the sizes, you can see all the sizes it's pre-selected based on what fits in this location, and scrolling through them, I'm happy with all these sizes being included. 
Next, I'm going to add some margins to the top and bottom. And also, I like to put the ad in its own row and center it. Once you click Save Placeholder, the system is going to scan the site for all similar pages and insert the placeholder attached to the same element on those pages. So in theory, you can set up one page per template for your website and the entire site will be set up automatically. So here you can see the placeholder has been added and all these sizes are now included to be tested by Ezoix platform. In terms of setting up placeholders on the site, we recommend adding as many as possible, somewhere between 8 and 15 placeholders, depending on the length of your pages. This doesn't mean that 8 to 15 ads will show, it just means that the system can choose out of those 8 to 15 the optimal ad sizes, locations, and number of ads for each user that comes to the site. So I've pulled up a site that has a complete setup, and as you can see, they've included all different position types. We have one at the top of the page. Uh, we have one underneath the page title. We actually have a second one underneath the page title. You'll notice that these two are the same colors, and that's because they are the same position type. What this means is that the system will never show both of these at the same time. It will choose one or the other, if any at all. And what it's testing is to see if some users prefer the ad above the image while other users might prefer it below the image. Scrolling down, you see we have under first paragraph, under second paragraph, in content. We have these ones in the sidebar. And going through, you'll see that the publishers added multiple of these throughout the page. The idea is really to give the system as many options as possible and within each placeholder include all of the various sizes that can fit in that so that it can test thousands of permutations to figure out what works best and help you earn more and improve user experience.